the most likely newcomer for Smash Bros. Ultimate. Well, everyone has thoughts, but let's dive right into things. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your blocked content for today. There are so many characters that still could make their way to Smash Brothers Ultimate, and we've been racking our brains about that character, and we're of course always stuck with the big three, right? A Crash Bandicoot, Ryu Hayabusa, Master Chief Doom Guy, that sort of combination, right? And I feel like we are getting close to finding out the answer, because if we are getting the character before the 21st of December, then it means it has to be announced before that. So it could essentially be November, which is just a few months away that we get the character announced, that we know who it is. Sakurai has of course famously said that it's going to be taking a while to find out who that character is. But right now, I think that he might be over-exaggerating just a little bit, because we are getting ever closer to the end of this year, and it's approaching fast. Now, of course, there are a lot of different fighters that could be very possible, that could be very plausible, and that could be impossible as well, and characters that are perfect shoe-ins for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I wanted to take the time to detail and talk about a few, and Collider is one of the sources that I hold very dear. I've actually met a lot of those people in real life, so I wanted to share those thoughts as well. And generally, just I'm very excited to find out your thoughts about you know which character is the most likely in your head. So just think about the fact that there are probably a lot of different options that have crossed Sakurai's mind, right? Characters from the NES era that would feel right at home to be a final character, just a little cheeky thing, or a big third-party character that would wow the world and go viral. So if you have any thoughts or ideas, please put them down below. Now, of course, you can also send in your questions, your theories, your feedback and ideas to us through email. You can send an email to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com, and I might answer your question here live on the show. So let's talk a little bit about those final ideas, right? The characters that we think are possible and the characters that also, from Collider, are picks that the general public, I think, really wants to see in the game and just characters that are very popular that could make their way into Smash Brothers Ultimate. So from Collider.com, originally posted by Benny Regalbuto, saying, predicting the final Super Smash Brothers Ultimate downloadable content fighter, the possible and the implausible. With one more character slot left to fill, Smash Brothers fans are waiting with bated breath. So let's dive right into everything here. With over 80 characters from across gaming history to choose from, along with music and stages from all the represented franchises, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is like nothing else. Each and every fighter, not counting Echo Fighters or clones, has a distinct feel, meaning there's a lot to learn whether you're a competitive player or a casual one. It's always exciting to try and predict who will join the roster next. At the tail end of his latest presentation, however, Masahiro Sakurai, the series creator for Smash Bros., had a bittersweet message for fans. Quote, The next DLC fighter will be the last one. There won't be any more after that. So, without a third fighter's pass on the way, at least, that's what we can glean from it, right? Sakurai is prone to essentially break his own rules. Well, all eyes are now on Smash. Who is the last fighter going to be? Who isn't it going to be? Well, it's impossible to say for sure, though with how common leaks are, maybe one of them is right. But here are five possible and five impossible candidates. Remember, though, with Smash, nothing is truly off the table. Seriously, take another look at the roster. These are merely predictions, not meant to be definitive in any way. Which is possible, Phoenix Wright. We've talked about this character so much on this channel. Smash is full of martial artists, swordsmen, and creatures that make plenty of sense on a fighting game roster. Yet, Smash isn't afraid to turn characters who don't normally throw hands into formidable opponents, from Animal Crossing's sweetheart Secretary Isabel to Super Mario Bros. one-note cannon fodder Piranha Plant. That means adding someone like Ace Attorney's Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright wouldn't be out of left field. 
It wouldn't be Wright's first fighting game appearance either. That honor goes to Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Smash is a platform fighter as opposed to a traditional fighting game. However, so the spiky-haired attorney's moveset would work much differently, even if some of the attacks looked similar. He's extremely popular in both Japan and around the world, so his inclusion wouldn't come as a surprise. A's attorney music would be just as welcome, suited perfectly to both the courtroom and the battlefield. Implausible would be Spyro, which we also talked a lot about. 3D platformers were the name of the game in the mid or late 90s and early 2000s. Fun, easy to learn, and hard to master. It's no wonder every game developer under the sun tried their hand at the genre. Only so many succeeded, of course. You hear about Super Mario 64 a bit more often than Croc Legend of the Gobbos, right? Among the more successful ones were Spyro games, starring the titular Purple Dragon and his Dragonfly ally Sparks. Though the series arguably peaked with its original PlayStation trilogy, it went on to span many consoles over many years. So it would make sense for Spyro to glide his way into Smash, wouldn't it? Well, not exactly. Genres represented in Smash aren't tied to one character each, but the DLC is generally more selective, with Banjo and Kazooie filling out the 90s 2000s 3D platforming character spot per se, it's hard to imagine Spyro getting in as well before the curtain closes. The same goes for both genre icons like Banjo Kazooie's counterpart Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter, and Slug Cooper. Anything's possible though impossible a generation 8 pokemon it's almost shocking that a generation 8 pokemon hasn't been added yet especially since other downloadable content characters have dipped into franchises already in smash like sephiroth from final fantasy preceded by cloud every generation up to seven is represented either in the form of a playable pokemon or a pokeball Pokemon Sword and Shield didn't come out until the year after Andromed released, but that hasn't stopped Nintendo from including fighters in the roster before their games released in the past, Pokemon or otherwise. The real question is, were a Gen 8 Pokemon to snack the final spot, which would it be? One of the starters or their evolutions, or maybe three of them packaged into another Pokemon trainer? A pseudo-legendary like Dragapult? An out there pick like Phalanx? No matter which made it in, it's certainly not impossible for Nintendo to want a Pokemon to close things out. Gigantamax forms are tailor-made for a final smash. Implausible 2B or A2 When Zelda was added to the roster in Melee, she had an ability no other character had. Hold down left on the joystick and hit B, down B, I think, and she'd transform into an entirely new character, Sheik. The switcheroo mechanic could also be done from the character select screen. Though you can't freely switch between them in Nier Automata, it's easy to imagine the androids 2B and A2 taking up a single spot on this Smash menu. Maybe it could be a little bit more like Pyramithra. Their designs are a bit risque, shall we say, not that, that hasn't been fixed it before, see Bayonetta, but it's still family friendly. Second, there's Pyra and Mithra, of course. Then possible Monokuma. In 2020, the Danganronpa franchise began its 10th anniversary celebration, making all sorts of announcements that have spilled over into 2021. Not that the news had anything to do with Nintendo until June 2021, when Danganronpa Decadence, a collection of the three main games of the series and a bonus fourth game, was announced for the Switch. But for Smash Brothers, it would actually be a very likely candidate, and wouldn't you think so? And of course, also implausible would be Chun-Li. Starting with 3DS and Wii U of Smash, you know, traditional fighting game characters have been added, like Ryu and Ken from Street Fighter, Fatal Fury, and, well, of course, Tekken very recently. So, Chun-Li would make a lot of sense in the game. I think that Dr. Eggman and Tails would also be very possible, and Kratos from God of War is a pick that would make a lot of PlayStation fans very happy. There's also Tracer from Overwatch that I think a lot of people, you know, have a very big fondness for, and the moveset could be incredible, a fast character with also a lot of different timey-wimey abilities, and of course, Waluigi is of course an assist trophy since Brawl and could finally jump out of the assist trophy case and become a fighter. I think that that would be incredible. So really curious what you guys' thoughts are on those characters and do you have your own list? Let me know in the comments down below. And as for previous comment question winner, our answer comes from our user Rowan Fletcher Pro 
gamer? Okay, the answer is yes, I personally believe the reveal. I think it's going to happen for sure. I'm excited how Mr. Sakurai is going to do this for pack 11. It's potentially hard to work on the final fighter, so I'm definitely thinking they'll announce a new DLC at the Game Awards. It makes sense because one of their best rewards ever, and of course I think he needs a break. They will need a vacation, and he deserves it. He's one of the best game directors available. Pretty honest that this Smash Ultimate devs and the team, they'll finish the concept and they make a 100% progress for sure, completing all the characters. As far as who the character is, I have no comment, but for example, Halo's Master Chief, 2B from Nier Automata, Danganronpa's Monokuma, Rayman, and Crash. I'm sorry to hate to you guys, but I really don't think it's them, because to me, it was feeling more like a new series should be represented, like Chrono Trigger. He has been, you know, a longtime fan, favorite, or Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. That would be something special to have for Sakurai to end off. A real true answer is Ryu Hayabusa. Well, or Impa from Hyrule Warriors. There you have it. It's my true final answer. In this case, statement has been sold. So I hope they'll be retiring from the last DLC character. He's an incredible masterpiece developer that we all love. Love him so. Kellum, I hope your true final word message. And thanks for listening to my comment. Happy gaming. Rowan, thank you so much for sending in your comment. And thank you everyone for watching Blocked Content. It really means the world to me. So support us through patreon.com slash blocked content. Subscribe to to blocked content, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya!